y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and this is the start of my dedicated reading vlog for The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket. <laughs> So if you didn't know, I ended up drawing this book out of my TBR jar um, and doing a dedicated reading vlog for every book that I pull out of that TBR jar. Um, and this one is a middle grade that I never read as a kid. I thought I'd read the back because I haven't read it yet. Dear reader, I'm sorry to say that the book you are holding in your hands is extremely unpleasant. It tells an unhappy tale about three very unlucky children. Even though they are charming and clever, the Baudelaire siblings lead lives filled with misery and woe. From the very first page of this book, when the children are at the beach and re receive terrible news, continuing on the entire story, disaster lurks on their heels. One might say that they are magnets for misfortune. In this short book alone, the three youngsters encounter a greedy and repulsive villain, itchy clothing and a disastrous fire, a plot to steal their fortune and cold porridge for breakfast. It is in my sad duty to write down these unpleasant tales, but there is nothing stopping you from putting this book down at once and reading something happy, if you prefer that sort of thing. With all due respect, Lemony Snicket. I uh, watched the TV series and absolutely loved it. I had so much fun watching that series on Netflix and so I bought this book at Half Price Books one day and I ended up drawing it out of my TBR jar and I'm very intrigued to start this one. People grew up with the series, grew up loving the series. I didn't and so I'm very excited to see how the books are different from the TV show. It's also been a very long time since I've watched the TV show so I don't remember a lot but it is very short and like I am super excited to start this and like bring y'all along the journey of me reading this book for the first time so let's get into it okay so i just read or listened to chapter one of this book and oh my gosh the audio is fantastic if this is one of your favorite books as a kid and you have never listened to the audio like i feel like you would love it go listen to the audio because it's awesome tim curry is the narrator for it but each person who like has dialogue, like Violet and Klaus and Sunny, each have their own like kid narrators narrating popping in. So instead of like Tim Curry saying like, um, Violet said, let's go to the beach. It's just the girl saying, let's go to the beach. Like, it's pretty cool. I like it. And there's a bunch of sound effects in there. Like they're at the beach in the first chapter and you hear like the waves and... Y'all, it's so cool. Why can't all audiobooks be like this? I, I've watched TV show, so I know the general gist of this book. I'm excited to like read an actual like book form of it because this book is like two and a half hours. I'll fly through it. I'm currently working on my uh, bullet journal while I'm going to be listening to this. It'll only take me probably an hour to like finish this book. I had to slow down my normal reading speed, which is 2.55 on Libby. And now I think I'm at like 2.25 because um, like it sounds so much better because of all of the sound effects and like the extra narrators and everything so i slowed it down so i could listen to it more and listen to it in like a more better way if that makes sense uh, it just sounds way better uh when you slow it down because then you're able to like hear all the sound effects i think this is gonna be such a fun time look at look at like look at the drawings and stuff like i wish i read this book as a kid like i wish i read this book i feel like i would love this book if i was a kid and i also love like obviously our kids in here are super smart like they're super smart klaus and violet like violet loves to make inventions and i think that's so cool and i love how our author made a girl love inventions because you don't see that a lot in like kids books you know you don't and so i really like how that was put in here and yeah i'm just like picturing like the movie scenes like while the book is going along and i feel like the great narration and like sound effects and everything are really adding to the experience so i'm really liking this and i'm gonna work on my bullet journal while i listen to some more and i'll update you maybe around like halfway i feel like this video is going to be pretty short because this book is pretty short but we will see i'll just update you whenever i want to okay sorry for the messy bed um i'm coming like in and out of the bed so i'm not making it today <laughs> um so i am on chapter five this is what the art looks like for chapter five 
this far of the way into it. Again, I'm really enjoying this. Something I wanted to say was how if I read this book as a kid, I don't know what I would think. I don't I don't know the age range for this book. Let me know what age you read this book if you ended up reading it out as a kid. There are some things in here that like I would have been like scared about. I'm also a huge scaredy cat and I get scared over anything and I'm a very empathetic and emotional person. <laughs> so like there's just a scene where like Count Olaf like hits Klaus, like slaps him across the face. And I'm like, this isn't a kid's book. And then like, they're just going through a bunch of things at Count Olaf's house that I'm like, that's not good. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. I would, I'm very curious to know what like people thought when they were kids when they read this book. Like, how did they love it? Were they like emotional or um, scared of the things that these kids were going through? Because I think if I was a kid, I would be. I just, I would not like what they're going through, obviously. I don't know if I'd even wanna like continue this book just because like he gets like slapped across the face and starts like crying. And I don't know, I'm, I was a big crybaby. I still am a big crybaby. <laughs> so I don't know, I honestly don't know. Um, maybe if I read this when I was like a, a tween early, I think you don't think it would affect me. But like, if you're like younger than that, I don't know. Um, I'm also like thinking about how maybe the reason why they like made this audiobook so amazing and had so many effects in it was because it was made for kids and um, it was to keep kids more entertained. I'm just thinking about what age would kids listen to this. I'm very curious and I wish I knew my reaction when I was a kid for reading this um, but I did not hear about this book at all as a kid. I didn't know this book existed until booktube. Also let me know where you learned about this book like from the library, the librarian, your friends reading it because literally I knew nobody and I lived in my school's library so. I am gonna put my bookmark in, gonna continue the audio. I want to show you what I've done so far with my spread. This is my uh, fantasy romance February spread and I'm going to be putting my TBR right here. It's kind of gonna look like this one but with more background. This is my black author readathon spread and then this is gonna be my fantasy romance February. I had to put a piece of paper down underneath because uh, the markers and everything were bleeding through so yeah but like this one I'm gonna be putting my wrap up underneath but this is my TBR up here. So I'm gonna be making a little um, pink squares to put my TBR books in. So I'm gonna be get back to doing that and uh, reading this book. Okay, I am now 70% of the way through this. I'm like flying through it. The audio is so super short, so that's why I'm in the same spot the entire time. I've just been working on my bullet journal, so that's what it looks like right now. I've been doing that. What I forgot from the movie is I forgot like the main plot point as to how Count Olaf is gonna get the kid's fortune in this book. I forgot what he was gonna do. And so when I remember him saying like, oh, you're gonna pretend to be my bride or play my bride in this play. I was like, oh, I remember that. And if that was real life, holy crap. I'm just thinking about how like this old grotesque man wants to marry this 14 year old girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, I love in here the whole invention stuff. I feel like girls who are into the same things that Violet is in can totally feel seen because there's not a lot of girls in fiction, especially like kids fiction. Granted, I haven't read a lot of kids fiction recently, but growing up, I did not read a character like this a girl who just wanted to invent things and is into mechanical engineering and that's pretty cool i also just love sunny <laughs> sunny's the baby um i loved her in the show i love her too i love all the baudelaire siblings i am probably going to update you when i finally finish this book because i have 45 minutes left in the audio um but that's without me speeding it up so i'll be done very 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 soon okay everybody it is later and i have finished the Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket, the first book in the a series of unfortunate events. I think I'm gonna give this one four stars. This was a super fun read. I had so much fun listening to this. It was an amazing audio experience. The audiobook is fantastic. But overall, I think this is a great, awesome book, and I really like how authentic the show made it. Um, I really want to go and watch the show now. I kind of want to go rewatch the show. I'm currently in a Vampire Diaries rewatch, um, so I may go rewatch this series as well. After that, not before. Um, so I had so much fun reading this, and I thought the audiobook, again, fantastic 
great story. I don't own the other books, but maybe next time I go to a half price books, I'll end up picking up the second one because that's how I found this first one was at half price books. So um, overall, really enjoyable experience. I'm really glad I picked this book out of my TBR jar for the month of February um, just because I haven't read a lot of middle grade or I haven't went, read middle grade in a very long time. And that's what I categorize this as is probably a middle grade book. Super fun and just like your breath of fresh air because all I read nowadays are romance books and I love romance books. They're my jam i love them um but it's kind of like fun to read something that is different so i really liked that so there you have it that was my vlog and a uh, review for a series of unfortunate events the bad beginning by lemony snicket please let me know down below if you've read this book if this was your favorite book as a kid give me your opinion about this book but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all